over five months ago i started as a level one on a new account in gta online and the only businesses that i've bought on this account have come through spinning a wheel determining what i should do to make money the last time i spun that wheel i landed on buying the hanger next so today in this video we are going to be buying the hanger as my next business so welcome to episode 57 of loser to luxury and without further ado let's jump into it all right so currently right now i am on the wheel of quick cash but before we spin the wheel of quick cash as stated in the intro i am trying to buy the hanger next and this is going to cost me a total of two million and three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and currently right now i have two million and seventy one thousand dollars so in this episode we are definitely going to be getting the hanger but how are we going to start out this episode in order to make money so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to what is this going to be we're going to have to go to our bunker and we are going to have to sell off excess weapon parts all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to buy the hanger so the wheel is spinning and it looks like we are going to have to join another person's heist at random once again but this is not including the original heist all right so right here i am on the wheel of random heist and right now i have the kyle perico heist the diamond casino heist and the doomsday heist on here so what heist are we gonna have to do at random so the wheel is spinning and we are going to have to join a random Cayo Perico heist but since we've done the Cayo Perico heist so many times we are gonna have to go to the wheel of heist challenges to see what heist challenge I'm gonna have to do for this heist so this is the wheel of heist challenges right here so what heist challenge am I going to have to do for the Cayo Perico heist as a guest and it looks like we are going to have to only use a pistol okay all right so we're joining a random Kyle Perico heist but what is going to be the next thing that we're going to have to do in order to make money in this episode so it looks like we are going to have to do is this is the doomsday heist okay never mind that first wheel spin we are doing act two of the doomsday heist right here and we're not joining a random Kyle Perico heist because this is such a good wheel spin we are going to forfeit that previous wheel spin and since we have not done act two in this series I will not spin the wheel of heist challenges I will just do this heist normal so we're going to go to our facility and set up act two of the doomsday heist but first i have to go to my bunker and sell off excess weapon parts so let's just get into that right here all right so this is our dune loader right here with all the excess weapon parts so all we have to do is just deliver this dune loader to an ammunition and for doing this successfully we will get fifty thousand dollars and well it's kind of tough to fail on this just because well you're just in a dune loader and all you have to do is just go to an ammunition that's only like three miles away and and the only threat to you is a clock which is 15 minutes so that's not an issue at all and just a couple of npcs following you every once in a while oh dude 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 i was just <sighs> i was looking at my phone i drove off the road and then the npcs that i was just saying wasn't an issue really became an issue that's great thank you thank you game if you're being competent yeah this is really not bad at all but i was distracted so yeah that was not great all right so yeah after that small little blunder right at the beginning we made it to this ammunition and there we go contract complete we made fifty thousand dollars off of that so now it is time for me to go to the facility and start setting up act two of the doomsday hive all right, so I'm at my facility right here, and these are all the Doomsday Heist. And as a host, we've already completed the Data Breaches Heist, which is Act 1. But now we need to do the Bogdan Problem, which is Act Number 2. Now, I've actually done the Bogdan Problem Heist Finale, but that was during the Lost episode. So yeah, I'm not going to be getting a first-time bonus for doing the Bogdan Problem, but, but you will see me do this for the first time. But in my opinion, this is the easiest heist out of any of these three, even though some people don't agree with that, but whatever, it's fine. But we have to set up the Bogdan problem right here for $25,000 and I've already made $50,000 in this episode so sure and we get another cutscene code name ULP was kidnapped last night oh my god how did ULP get kidnapped what are you doing you moron all right essentially we need to go out and take something from a submarine I wasn't listening too closely but we need to go out and attack a submarine so we just need to set all that up right here so for act two we have four setups and five preps to do so that's gonna be fun for me and in order to launch these setups we need 
to do these preps for the corresponding setup. And well, the preps are pretty boring, honestly, so I'll just do that off camera. And then once the prep work is all done, I'll come back and then we'll get into these setups. So yeah, I'll see you when all the prep work is done. All right, so it's been an hour and I've completed all of these preps. So now we can do each of these setups. So let's just start out by doing this Avenger setup right here. All right, here we go. We're starting up the first setup of Act 2 of the Doomsday Heist. This is the Avenger setup right here. And I just remember now this setup goes. And I think this setup is actually really, really annoying if I remember correctly. It's kind of hard to explain, but right now we have to go to LSIA and go to a hangar. So yeah, I guess I'll see you when I get there. All right, we're finally all here. Oh, I forgot to say there's three of us in here. I have two teammates. Uh, They're actually both pretty high level. I think one's a 340, one's like a 500 and something. So that's good. These setups I'm going to do are going to be on normal difficulty and the finale is going to be on hard difficulty so we can get more money. All right, look, there's the Avenger. Let's take it. Yeah, let's go. We're getting close. Um, what happened? <laughs> I know what happened. <laughs> they cut out the lights <laughs> and I can't see anything. Oh, wait, I can see things now. I forgot. So now we have night vision and we have to take out a ton of people using night vision. Now, I usually have a tough time with the setup. I haven't done the setup in so long. Maybe I'll have better luck today since, you know, the cameras are on now. So what we need to do is we need to climb up the stairs and like turn on the lights essentially. But I mean, there is a ton of people. So it's going to, it's going to be a little bit before we're able to do that. If some of these setups are like some of the hardest setups in the game for the, the any of the doomsday heist and this one i even think is like a little bit slept on on how hard it is like geez it's dark to take out a ton of people all right so we've made it to the second level i think we have to go up even higher but there's some more people that have spawned in so that's great no one's died yet so that's great so me getting like good teammates i think is paying off at least right now it is for act one server form was by far the hardest setup but it was the quickest one that we were able to do which that that was very nice and i think right now we're kind of getting the same luck oh someone died never mind i was just saying we we're doing good all right so now i gotta turn on the backup generator yeah here we go so we have to flip this switch all right so now the power is back on i can see things so now we have to get into the avenger all right so now that we are trying to deliver the avenger i'm gonna get into one of these turrets right here and try to take out some people i guess all right and we've made it here and yeah there we go set up pass wow that was incredibly easy that's probably the quickest i've ever even done that setup wow this what a great start what an absolutely great start all right we still have three more setups to do before we can start up the finale so let's get into the next setup all right so we're getting into the second setup right here we have to rescue stupid agent ulp i don't know what he's doing to get kidnapped all right so ulp is apparently being held like kind of in the cypress flats area so then i have to go in and kind of save the day and then my other teammates gonna be um on the lookout essentially i hope this goes just as smoothly as the first setup because that was incredibly nice all right, so we have made it to this area right in here. We have to rescue ULP. I just remember how this mission goes, and this mission is annoying. So I am going to do this to start out with. Uh, my teammate is not here yet, but, you know, I'll take this part. But that's as much as I can do right now because I have to go into the foundry. So, woo! Yeah, there's a ton of people I have to take out inside of here. Hopefully, I can do this efficiently, and hopefully my teammate doesn't leave. I usually don't have that much success with this setup. Just like the last setup, I haven't done this setup in a long, long time. So, I don't know, hopefully this goes well. Stupid ULP getting caught. I, it's just ridiculous. I don't, I don't know how you get caught, ULP. Be smart, will you? Uh-oh, uh-oh. There's a lot of people coming in. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Dude, dude, my teammate outside's not doing great because he's allowing people to walk right in the front door. Well, it's actually not the front door. It's more like the side door, but it's a door and uh-oh. That was scary. I almost died there. Luckily, I have snacks. I actually was kind of prepared. All right, so we have made it to the stairs. That's the first part. Nice. But then more people spawn in. That's fun. So shoot that guy in the kneecap. <gasps> Uh, okay, that worked. That works. Just just melee that guy. It's fine. Whatever. Style points. All right, let's keep going up. More steps right here. How many more idiots are going to spawn in? No, I'm not talking about you, ULP. Oh, my God. Look at look at these idiots. Oh, shoot. There's idiots on this floor. All right, idiots down. Um, Idiot on the ground. Not anymore. So then we have to go into this room right here. And I call this room the room of idiots because look. Look, we have ULP and an, and an idiot guy. All right, goodbye. All right, ULP. Yeah, now I got a clear path for the idiot ULP for getting caught. Why do I have to help you when you get caught? If you get caught, you should just be done. Take those guys out. I, I, take those guys. What do you mean, take those guys out? You should have taken them out, huh? Jeez, ULP. To carry you. Literally, my back's going to be sore after this, how much I'm going to carry you. Like, actually, though, like, good lord. Like, I'm going to need to see a chiropractor. 
dude, ULP, that guy's right in front of you. I, I get you only have a pistol, but jeez, come on. Hit a shot. All right, so now we have to exit, but there's a ton of people right in here, so this is gonna be fun. All right, so yeah, clear a path for ULP, which that is taken care of, but there's a ton of... Look how many people there are. What has my teammate been doing? My teammate hasn't been doing anything, pretty much. Just all these guys just right in front of here. So much for clearing out a path for me. It's fine, you know what? I'm smart. I'm not like ULP. I don't get caught or die. All right, ULP, get in this vehicle. No, don't hide next to the vehicle. Get in the vehicle. There you go. That's how you get in the vehicle, ULP. So now all I have to do is just drop off ULP. And then, yeah, we should be good to go. Um, ULP, we're going to have to sit down and have a talk. And how you're not going to get kidnapped ever again. See, like my boy Agent 14 would never get caught. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? Dude, oh my god, what is happening? Oh my god, okay, this is just weird. All right, yeah. My teammate's in a vigilante also, so I think he just caused a little havoc and I just wrecked. Sorry, ULP. All right, so we've made it to the airstrip right here, and there we go. We have dropped off Agent UL Idiot. And there we go, setup passed. So we have two more setups to get into, so let's just finish those setups so we can do the finale. All right, so we're getting into the next setup right here. We are salvaging hard drives, I guess. I I don't know. I don't know why we're doing this, but anyways, we have to get into the RCV right here. Oh yeah, we have a new teammate now. The other teammate didn't want to join for some reason. So yeah, I got a new teammate now, and he's like level 477. Oh wait, I think I'm remembering what this was. I, I think this one's easier than the last two, but it is still kind of annoying. We have to go to Stoner Cement Works right here, so let's go there. Alright, so we've made it here. We have to take out these fires, make sure these fires don't last. Is he using a melee weapon? He's doing like a melee challenge. That fire is out for that target. I have one more target over here. I mean, there's going to be so many more places we have to go. So this is going to be so fun. All right, that fire has been taken out. So now uh, my teammate is going to get the other hard drive. And yeah, there we go. All right, so that was pretty easy. Yeah, let's move to the next one. All right, so we've made it to the next location right here. So, so we just have to put out even more fires. All right, there we go. My teammate got the last hard drive. So now we need to go to the next location location which is going to be at cypress flats all right so we made it to the next location just have to put out even more fires bro my teammate is actually like meleeing people <laughs> you're doing a great job teammate i i swear you're doing a great job i don't care if you do that as long as you don't die if you don't die then i'm okay with it all right that's all the hard drives are covered at that location and i think we have one more location to go i think this is the last one all right so here we go we have made it to the last location right here so i gotta put out five fires now and he has to collect five hard drives my teammate is just quickly getting out the rcv and just kind of going for it i mean he is doing a fantastic job of defending himself and he's even getting melee kills for fun like dude i think this teammate's really really good hopefully this guy stays for the finale all right so all the fires have been put out my teammate just needs to collect all of the hard drives and then yeah we should be good to go i just ran over my teammate okay yeah, he died I, <laughs> that that's on me so now my teammate has to get into the rcv i think we just have to leave and we're good right yeah we just have to go to a drop off which is like a mile and a half away yeah easy work all right and there we go set up pass all right so now we have one more setup to do and then we can get into the finale all right so we're doing our final setup right here we are doing the submarine recon setup so right now we have to get into a stromberg all right so right now we need to go to north chumash why i i don't remember exactly i don't remember this setup too much and that's that's probably a good thing because it probably means that this is a really easy setup i remember the difficult setups but i do not remember the easy setups all right so right now we have to destroy the convoy so uh sure i guess i've sent a few missiles their way sure what i don't know why i am but uh, what excuse me that missile missed this stupid helicopter Thank you. Die. What the heck is up with that? All right, there we go. All the convoy has been destroyed. So now I got to go to Bleedo Cove. All right, so now we have to destroy 10 sea mines right in here. All right, there we go. We have destroyed all the sea mines right in here. So now all we have to do is just scan the submarine. Now, why am I scanning the submarine? No idea. I don't listen. I don't know what we're doing. All right, there we go. We have scanned the submarine. So now all we have to do is just leave the area of the submarine. All right, so now all we have to do is just deliver the Stromberg to the drop off and yeah i think that's it yeah I, this is what i thought i thought this setup was pretty easy
What? Wait, what? We were at the tr What? Come on. Dude, what is up with these stupid ways to screw up a setup? Like, this happened during the first act. We had all the Strombergs at the drop-off, and the game was like, oh, no, you don't. You need to get into a Stromberg. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why we have to do this again. That was, that's technically the first time I've even failed one of these setups. And this is the easiest one. Oh, my God. Now we have to scan the submarine. Oh, my God. We have to scan the submarine again. That is so stupid. Hopefully, none of my teammates leave. It's just, so, it's just a waste of time. Will this work this time? I We have made it here. Looks pretty good. And yeah, Lester is giving me confirmation, at least. I think we're good. Huh? Why is it on fire? Why is it on fire? What? Wait, wait excuse me. It's just pointless. You say deliver Stromberg to drop off. I deliver the Stromberg to the drop off. Technically, my back left tire was on another Stromberg, but why does that catch my car on fire? That makes no sense. All right, we are back here. It's third time the charm. Okay, we're going to slowly make our way up. I'm going to get away from other Strombergs. Okay, Lester's giving me confirmation. Don't set my Stromberg on fire. We're just sitting here game are we good set up pass all right there we go set up pass well that was more annoying than that had to be but now we can actually do the finale so let's get into that all right here we go we are starting up the finale of act two the bogdan problem and i have a potential cut of one million five hundred thousand dollars so this is some serious money we're getting into right here and this is the easiest doomsday heist in my opinion i think act one is harder than act two and then well act three is considered to be the hardest heist in the game and i have one other teammate in here is one other other guy from that last setup and that guy's a level 140 so this should be pretty easy overall all right so one of us is getting into stromberg and one of us is getting into the avenger i am getting into the stromberg all right so let's get into the stromberg right here hopefully it doesn't randomly catch on fire like it did earlier Jeez. um yeah so we have to go to Polito cove and go back to that submarine that we were at earlier all right so just to let you know what the people in the avenger are doing they're gonna notice that i'm gonna attack the submarine so they're gonna send reinforcements in the air and they're essentially there to defend me while i am in the water this is so easy this one's so easy guaranteed oh yeah by the way this heist is on hard now the setups i did all of the setups on normal and this finale is going to be on hard so i can get even more money all right so we've made it to the submarine right here it kind of takes me to this cutscene. all right so there we are we are inside of this submarine now so now we have to find the contact and oh hello guy and goodbye so yeah now we just have to take out a bunch of people in the submarine honestly very very easy easy work right in here we have to make our way through all the floors of this submarine kind of close quarters but there's a setup for the Cayo Perico I said I think it's kind of similar to this where you have to take out a decent amount of people so yeah I just have to keep making my way through just shoot people move forward yada 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 I almost died there after I said this was incredibly easy. Whew, that would have been bad. I didn't pack any snacks either, so that was dumb on my end. All right, and there we go. Yeah, we have killed everyone. And here's the contact right here. Oh, I have to, I have to threaten them. All right, sorry. I'm not paying attention. I'm watching the Orioles game right now. I have to go to the control room. Jeez, I'm not really paying attention right now. Like, literally, I can, like, watch a baseball game and do this heist at the same time. Like, you telling me that Act 1 is harder than this? All right, so I have to take a photo of the intel table. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. You want a photo? Um, here's your photo. All right, yeah, so we're plugging in Clifford right there. Nice. And Bogdan is not happy with that. We're doing dirty work for Avon Quartz. I'm doing dirty work for Avon Hertz? Yes, we're in charge. Dude, what is this? This AI is taking over the submarine now. What? Oh, my God. Now the submarine's about to blow up. Dude, run. Yep, swim for our lives. So we have to regroup with the guy in the Avenger. And we have to get into the Avenger. And then we just have to leave. Yeah, Lester right now is freaking out. I have a muted for you because he is talking way too much. But, yeah, he is freaking out. We have apparently new enemies that are after us. And, yeah, we're going to have to regroup and deal with this later. All right, teammate. Um, Can you land so I can get into the Avenger? Dude, I'm getting lit off. Oh my god, I dude, 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 I don't have any snacks. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. All because I didn't get snacks and my teammate parked a little bit inconveniently far away from me. Thanks. Thanks. Am I gonna like spawn in, in the water? Am I spawning it? Wait, what is this? It looks like they were gonna spawn me in on Mount Chiliad, but I'm spawning in here. And yeah, we have to go through this cutscene again. That's fun. Okay, this time around, there's like very few enemies, honestly. I can just swim to shore right here and then we can get into this Avenger and then just kind of cruise our way to the drop off. And yeah, we just have to deliver the Avenger 
stranger to the drop off and then yeah we should be good to go all right yeah i'll see you later lester but there we go heist pass all right so i get 85 percent of that that's one million five hundred and fourteen thousand dollars we did quick restart because i had no health and there was no first time bonus because i did it in the lost episode so that's great but yeah there we go all right so for doing act two the bogdan problem we now have three million six hundred and two thousand dollars so now i can definitely purchase the hangar so let's go take a look at the hangar once again all right so i was originally gonna get this hangar right here and this is at lsia but i've done a little bit more thinking about it i think i'm actually going to get the cheapest hangar at fort zancudo i think a lot of the resupply missions for the hangar is going to be in the middle of the map so i think it's going to be a lot more beneficial for us to have a hangar in the middle of the map and well since i have a lot more money than what i actually need then yeah i'll, I'll just upgrade to the fort zancudo hangar right here so let's get into that and i also wanted to get a workshop all right so now our total cost is going to be three million two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars and yeah i have plenty of money for that so yeah let's purchase this hangar right here and there we go we have just purchased the hangar all right so now let's go take a look at this new hangar that i just bought all right so this is the jet that i own that i bought a while back and i'm actually entering the hangar with this jet for the first time so yeah this is the hangar and what did, why is there two dead people right here <laughs> i do not remember this all right so this is our hangar right here so essentially over here is where we can store our aircraft so over there is my p 996 laser along with this other plane that i think we get for free and then behind me is the place where we can store some product that we do source from the hangar all right so i'll quickly explain how this business works right here so we can go to this source tab right here and we can source any of these eight products and all of these products are worth thirty thousand dollars now each of these products give you a certain bonus when you hold a certain amount of them in your hangar so yeah this is the hangar right here but i'm actually going to go to my nightclub because i want to make some adjustments to my nightclub real quick with the remaining amount of money that i have all right so i'm at my nightclub right now because i'm actually getting very frustrated i'm having to source my own product for the nightclub so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to buy some more technicians just however many more technicians i can buy with the remaining amount of money that i have all right so i'm going to hire this guy right here for one hundred forty one thousand dollars. so there we go that's two technicians can i hire this guy yes i can all right so i can get three technicians so that is absolutely massive all right so after buying the hangar and buying more technicians at the nightclub i now have forty three thousand dollars so next episode i'm going to spin the wheel of luxury to determine what thing i am going to buy next make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me play gta online without dying